Hi, I'm Ross from Kernsmith Property Accountants in Hamilton. I'm just going to give you a few quick tips and tricks with Xero and things that you can do to import, uh, to improve your importing and improve your property business overall. So now you should be able to see my Kernsmith rental property example in Xero. Um, this is just a standard profit and loss that we normally look at. So if you go to reports, profit and loss, um, then under the common format, you should both look and yeah, just like under the normal current previous three months, you can see what the rent is. And for the previous few months, you can see the expenses in there. So this might show you that you've had insurance, you've had insurance, and now you're missing insurance for some reason. So it gives you some good information. You can pick up missing things. It also gives you overall profit or loss, uh, which is obviously really important to business and really important for you as a rental property owner. There's a few more things you can do and just little tips and tricks that hopefully you're doing. So the real basic one is when you um, are got items to reconcile, click on reconcile. If you go to cash coding, ideally you want as many items as possible to be memorized. So we're getting rent in from QRM. This is already memorizing it so that it's coming up under rental income. The same when you've got rates going out. Um, when you've got interest going out, you want them all to be memorized and you want them to have them for a property. So all we need to do when we go into coding is code most of the April results is just save and reconcile and we're all done. Um, so there's actually no coding because I've memorized the items. Um, if you haven't got tracking set up, if you go to settings and general, there's tracking. So you can put in your different properties. So, for example, we might rename it rather than property one, it might be Best Street. Oops. Um, you can put a, a category name, so we're looking at properties, and the different categories are different streets, and you can add more into either one of those. If you go into the Budget Manager, so Reports and then Budget Manager, you can set an overall budget for what you might want to do. So you might be wanting to get in $3,000 of, oops. You might be going, wanting to get in $3,000 off rent. You click the green arrow, you can then copy it the whole way across. So each month has it all the way across. Um, it just saves you a lot of time and hassle. We could put in there our insurance that we're expecting it to be $300. Our interest on our loans might be two and a half thousand. We might be looking at having $500 of repairs, and our rates might be $200. And yeah, copy all of those across. You can save it, you can view it, you can export it to Excel. Um, so there's lots of different things that you can do with it. The main one that I would then do from here is budget variance reports. If you don't have budget variance coming up, if you click all reports, and then you can choose which one. The three arrows give you more options. So I've clicked on the star next to budget variance so that you get the budget variance report. When you click on that, to start with, it gives you some basic information. So overall, we've received 4,200 of rent. Our budget was 3,000, we're up 1,200, fantastic. So what you're looking at is the actual budget and variance, and then year to date, actual budget and variance. Because we're in April, they're the same figures. But you can look at things as well and go, okay, our mortgage is actually a lot higher. You can then look into why. So you can click into any of these items. A step further, and if you're getting into your rental properties, you've got more, is if you click on compare periods, and rather than overall budget, once if we just look at property one, and we change the data as well to be to best street, update, then what we're doing is we're just comparing this property one or best street. Um, so we've got the rent from that, we've got the budget from that, and we can see what the variance is. We could do the same with our property number two. We could change to that. And again, we're just looking at that property then and comparing its actual budget and variance. So, uh, if, yeah, that, that's all I've got to show you. So a few critical things. One is make sure you memorise or create rules to set up your coding so you're not having to code a whole lot. Look regularly at your profit and loss. It shows you some great information. And set up simple budgets 
um, under the budget manager, so you can do budget variance reports, and then look at your actual budget and variance, and under compare periods, you look more detail, so you're actually looking at just one particular property. Um, hopefully it's given you some great information, and make sure you like our Facebook um, page, we've got a whole lot more um, videos and good information coming up. Um, we also post a lot of information, it's all about property, it's all free to you. Uh, it's not a sales pitch, it's great information. And we've also got some monthly um, accounting fees that we're just working on at the moment, looking at making it more efficient by you being on zero, um, doing the coding through there, using the memorization figures, and then us giving you a monthly figure that's slightly discounted because it's more efficient. Thank you very much.